Al-Fudayl ibn Iyad was one of the great imams of the Salaf with a number of amazing statements about the correct aqidah and sticking to the sunnah, repelling innovation and its people, remaining upright upon the early foundations of the earliest Muslims. He said this statement that if he knew he had one, maybe the, the singularity of what he was talking about hasn't been stressed enough. If he had only one supplication that he was given that he was sure would be answered by Allah, and think about yourself, what would you do? People would be, you know, children for myself, a house for myself, millions of dollars for my, They would be thinking about themselves, right? This is an alim who's concerned for the ummah. What does he say? If I had that one chance to make one supplication that would absolutely be answered by Allah, then it would be for the Muslim ruler, for him to be upright. Why? Because that means millions of people will be upright. That means the deen will be served and given its proper priority. That means rights will be established. That means oppression will be repelled. That means so much beyond one issue. Look at how much foresight they would have. Right? So to follow in the footsteps of this imam, what can we do? What can we do? Do we have one dua that Allah has given us that at we, if we use it in our life, it will be answered absolutely? We don't have something like that. But we have to hurry al-awqat. We have looking for the opportunities to have the dua answered. And then, how many times have we sat here between the adhan and the iqamah? And the time between the adhan and the iqamah is what? It's a time where the dua is answered who has thought this far into their aqidah and their manhaj to say, let me stop talking and make dua in favor of the Muslim rulers. They would be following, if someone were to do this, he would be following in the footsteps of the early salaf. Let me set aside some time to make dua for what's important in the last third of the night. Let me set aside time on Fridays, after Salat al-Asr and before the sun sets, according to... One of the positions of the scholars, that's the time on Friday for the dua to be answered. On the day of Arafat, making hajj, and so on. Lots of instances where dua would be answered. Often we encounter these instances and we waste this time talking away without any benefit. And we could be using that time with, you know, making supplications that Allah Ta'ala answers in that choice time when Allah answers the dua, the supplications of His servants. So let us be diligent in doing so and not overlook these opportunities, these windows of opportunity that are present in front of us so often.